Hello, hello, Tyler Fryden here. Hope everything's going well. Today, I want to talk about something super interesting, and it is Lexica. Now, a lot of interesting points about Lexica. First of all, what is it? It's a stable diffusion search engine. So the title of this video is search for and find stable diffusion prompts with Lexica. What I can do, basically scroll through this. They've just got it populating. You can search by image relevancy. You can search by prompt text, the amount of columns that you want. So I can actually decrease this and see, you know, the image is bigger. Say there's one that I really like. This is super fascinating. I can see the exact prompt that was then used to um, create this output and uh, stable diffusion, creating a couple sort of alternatives. You've got Will Smith wearing luxury suits. Uh, and some very specific terms that then uh, creates this output. You've got um, some guidance scale and then the final dimensions, and I can then copy this prompt directly, or I can copy the URL, I can share it, and then I can go ahead and I can explore this style. So it allow me to sort of uh, use a couple pieces of that prompt to then uh, find other images that are related. So why is this so fascinating? Uh, I've done uh, videos in the past about uh, this idea of prompt engineering, and in that case, uh, you know, in this case, this is a huge demonstration uh, that prompt engineering, people searching for the amount of prompts um, that are, uh, you know, possible to create the images that they want is becoming wildly popular and very important. And what also goes around with this is that Lexica is getting then funded um, to build this. So uh, Sharif, here, and I apologize if I get the name wrong, I've got a couple of links for him if you're interested specifically in him. They raised a $5 million seed round uh, to build out Lexica. So that was ran uh, by Daniel uh, Gross, who I should probably have, uh, maybe I'll link to him up there. And then also this AI grant, and I've been reading a little about this AI grant, uh, which is super fascinating, and I'm gonna maybe do a dedicated video on this, just to sort of dive a little bit deeper into it. So they funded this, and it makes a lot of sense. There are advisors and speakers from Stability, from um, mid journey uh, from GPT-3 and so open, sort of open AI. Basically, uh, a lot of companies that are participating in this, or at least it seems CEOs of Figma and Vanta who have abundant resources and talent and are fascinated with this space. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on that. What I'm gonna do is pull up just a, a couple of links of Daniel Gross uh, so we know um, uh, who he is. And you've got his Wikipedia article here, uh, basically joined um, Y Combinator. So his company Q was sold to Apple. And then he led this uh, investment into Lexica. Sharif, in his own right, has done some super um, interesting things here. Uh, let me pull the screen off for a sec, just so I can make sure that I'm not having any uh, emails or messages or anything pop up, because I usually do. So we've got Sharif here, uh, so founder of Lexica Art. And then he was previously working at D-Build, uh, which, um, and then before that was actually part of Y Combinator's winter 20, uh, 2019 batch. So um, he has history. Uh, he looks like he has, um, you know, a, a credible sort of uh, natural talent for computer science. Maybe not natural. He's obviously worked hard on it. And then delving into machine, machine learning. And then D-Build, which looks like it's sort of wrapped up. Uh, at least his, uh, you know, place at um, uh, his role as CEO there is now done where he was using large language models to generate full stack web apps, which sounds super ambitious uh, in its own right. And, you know, anyone who has these kind of ambitions generally can find uh, something new uh, that they're interested in and then continue to execute on it. So that's exactly what he's done here with Lexica with this $5 million seed round. I've got a bunch of, you know, basically a bunch of his stuff where he talks about, uh, you know, this, loun uh, this round getting led. Um, his first sort of introduction, which was in August, which is, you know, not that long ago, and um, and you can see how quickly like the interest is for this and the ability to be able to full, pull together five million dollars um, to then uh, you know uh, drive this growth forward is super super fascinating. So um, a couple of things that uh, I think are interesting is that although it doesn't really have too high of a traffic or a keyword ranking, I think there's a lot of opportunities with them. You can already see some sort of prompts that are people are interested in searching and then it's appearing for and people are getting, uh, you know, driving to their website for that. I think they have a lot to go, especially if they sort of optimize this, you know, sort of these pages that you click on, uh, you know, for a little bit, maybe more for SEO. So people can discover these based on searches that they put in. So I think there's, they've got some incredible opportunities ahead of them here. You can also upload an image for reverse uh, image search, which I haven't actually tested, but super, super fascinating. And then they've got this idea of filters. Right now it's only search by image, search by prompt, but I think, 
this will continue to increase in sort of the options and scale that you can do. So um, sort by popularity, but then sort by art style, sort by, uh, uh, you know, most people who have copied that prompt after they've viewed the image. So I think there's a, a big layer here to go. I also think there can be a really amazing discovery engine that's part of Lexica, Lexica which is like, if I come to here, what I could see it becoming is, you know, pull up an example, is this idea of sort of like an exploding topics, um, exploding topics sort of idea, which is basically, hey, here's the prompts or the keywords uh, within those prompts that are shooting up in popularity, meaning that more and more people are using them. You could do both. Here's prompts that are populating the image uh, engine, and then here's prompts that people are searching for, or here's prompts that people are copy and pasting uh, you know, copying from the actual pages itself so that then they can, um, you know, uh, sort of track those. And if new art styles are emerging or new prompts are emerging, it starts to feed this engine of people optimizing their prompts to get better results. And this is specifically stable diffusion. Um, I'm not sure exactly why, but I'm guessing some of the open source nature, maybe relationships there. Uh, I think this could be most likely probably expanded um, to other uh, sort of generative AI engines, and maybe that's the plan. I'm not sure, I haven't seen too much of that. Other thing that is super worthwhile mentioning is that there is uh, um, a fairly popular uh, Discord engine. So right now there's about almost 2000 people online. You can see uh, people sort of talking, having real conversations in here, the classic general ideas and requests, bugs, off topic development, prompt share. And so, you know, uh, that from the site is right there. You can jump into it and start uh, contributing to the community, being part of it, uh, learning. And, uh, you know, I think that's a super excited opportunity for anyone who is excited about generative AI, image generation, stable diffusion, DALI, all these wonderful things. A couple other quick things uh, here, just uh, some links. You can see some great comments uh, here, including uh, Emod of um, Stable Diffusion. So people, he also seems to have uh, a bit of a network here already. We got his Insta here. Appreciate you sharing, brother. And then what I noticed in this case is that he's been hacking away at some things for uh, quite a while. So um, in this case, he was doing e turning EEG activity into speech using a Muse headband. And uh, you can see that he was actually uh, making that happen. So like he, this guy has technical uh, talent. I don't need uh, you. Um, but you can see some uh, details on Crunchbase. You can see Medium. You can see Hugging Face profile. Uh, and then also uh, GitHub um, there as well too. And I think overall, this is just a super interesting project to follow. I know like as I sort of, um, if I scan through it, I don't want to do, if I just go to the actual main site here, go back, like you can take some time here, even if I pop up the number of columns and there are just some beautiful, astounding images. And then you go, okay, some weird ones as well too, classic, uh, but click and you can understand much clo much more closely how people are, getting the output um, that they're getting. And most of us still, I think, are pretty new and it's pretty novel. Um, we see these, you know, just these stunning outputs of these engines. We're like, how do, how do we make that happen? This is, uh, you know, a way that that is being crowdsourced and then understood, you know, very, very explicitly. So um, take some time to do it. As you can see, like, Stable Diffusion in its own right has the ability to really, you know, source. So I'm guessing this is Ronaldo. Like you can say, hey, I want this person. And there's been some concerns around ethics uh, and stuff about that. But in the end, um, like a close up shot of Ian McKellen as King O'Brien, I don't know. So who that is. But like the fact that you can use actual real people, you've got uh, uh, Gal Gadot here. Um, you've got uh, Homer Simpson, uh, <laughs> Vladimir, Vladimir Putin. Wow. The fact that you can sort of have all this um, you know, capabilities without the restrictions of maybe say, uh, Dali's printing on you, which I think in some cases is a good thing. Um, but, uh, that we can do so much with stable diffusion. And now that information is building a feedback loop that allows us to learn how these prompts are working and create more and more incredible outputs is super, super exciting. So I'm continuing to follow them along. Uh, I'm going to see if I can connect with the, uh, the team here. Some super, you know, super interesting to see the founders. They're definitely fascinated to see a little bit more of this uh, AI grant. Uh, I've got the actual um, uh, pro, uh, website of him here as well too. And, uh, you know, he's really doing some incredible sort of breaking, uh, you know, uh, cutting edge work. Um, 
specifically now uh, with Lexica. So I hope this was insightful. I had not, I, I don't know when I first came across this company, maybe Imad from Stable, uh, Stability AI commented on it and then I ended up on the route here, came across it, saw, saw it was interesting, didn't see much of it. And then I saw this $5 million seed fund and took a deeper look at it. It was pretty mind blown of, of what's capable here. And I think with someone like this who has such a deep vision what is most likely to come. I think it's going to be uh, super, super beautiful. And uh, I think uh, worthwhile for any of us who care about this generative AI space uh, to check out, to get inspiration from, to learn from, and maybe even find some ways to contribute. So this is it. Uh, I've been Tyler Bryden. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I look forward to being back talking about nah, all this AI and all this good stuff. If you do, like it, comment, subscribe, all those good things. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.